I didn't know his name was John until I met his girlfriend and she was like, John's my boyfriend. And I was like, what was John? And she's like, John Adrian. And I was like, no. never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Me and Adrian met in 6th grade we had homeroom together, but we never, we never talked. I had the biggest crush on him, actually, yeah. And, but then he had a girlfriend. So, um, <laughs> at school they call him John, but I knew him by Adrian. So, um, I would be like, I have a crush on Adrian. And people would be like, oh, okay. We actually first met, um, sixth, fifth, sixth grade, sixth grade. Um, we, we had the same homeroom teacher. Went to the same high school together. That's when we, that's when we met again, like officially. I met, and like I remember her because I remember I walked into class and I like I, I saw her and I knew who she was and I remembered her. So the first thing I did is I sat next to her and like I wanted to talk to her, but she like she because okay, so she has like this whole thing that I friend zoned her in sixth grade, but nothing nothing like that even came close to happening. So at the time, whenever freshman year, whenever I met, I, I walked to her, she kind of didn't want to talk to me. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. And I walked into my English class. And I seen him and I was like, oh no, um, he probably knows that I had the biggest crush on him. And uh, So I tried to avoid him and he was like, hey, how are you? And I was like, ooh, no, I don't want to talk. When he asked me to be his girlfriend, um, we actually went out to eat with his parents to a restaurant in, um, in Kima. And uh, in the, after that, um, he was like, I just wanted to see if my parents liked you um, to ask you out. And then I was like, okay, so I think they like me. <laughs> but with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. I bought the ring like six months before I proposed. She wanted to. She wanted to go to have like a photo shoot. I figured you know, it was gonna be you know, like a good time to like actually like, go ahead and propose. I didn't know how to do it like at all. I kind of talked to the photographer like help me because like I really had no clue like what I was doing. Like honestly, you know, like it was I don't know. It was I'm, I'm awkward when it comes to stuff like that. You know, I tried not to be, but I was. Adrian, he he was just he was like so gentleman like i guess you could say whenever i would get in the car he would open the door um whenever you know when you're walking on the street if i was on the side of the street he'll be like no move that way and i'll just be like okay like this is shocking to me because i've never i mean nowadays guys don't really like they don't do that stuff so whenever i seen how he was like that i was like oh my god i, I want to marry him and um he would ask me like, how are your parents and stuff like that. So he was really involved in like asking about my family. So that's when I was like, cause my family is really family oriented. So I, I wanted somebody that was like, that was gonna be um, close to my family too. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I have a few things that I do I know she does not like. <laughs> like, I'm I'm honestly typically pretty clean, but I get lazy after work. I wanna I want come home, I just wanna lay down. And I try not to do that, you know? So for me, it's gonna take a lot, a lot more of knowing what she needs and fulfilling her needs. 
before mine, of course, you know, as any husband will tell you, you know, how, how it should be done, you know, that's really going to be probably the hardest thing for me to adjust to. I mean, honestly, I do it now, and I do it without even realizing I do it, like small little things, like I'll take care of her before I take care of myself. Um, so I feel like our personalities, like they blend in with each other. He's really, um, he's kind of out. He's blunt, so whenever we're at a restaurant and I don't get what I want, I don't like telling the waitress, you know, hey, you didn't give me this. And he, he's the type to be like, hey, you didn't give her this. And I'm the type to be like, no, it's fine, you know, you're, you're doing your best. Um, Maria, um, I can honestly say that the thing that I'm looking most forward to is going to be really just building our life together. Um, I know that from the start of our relationship, you didn't you didn't expect us to get married and neither did I, um, but I'm glad it, it worked out. I'm gonna cry, I swear I'm gonna cry. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I'll always be by your side He knows that I'll be with him through everything Like let's say like he lost his job or um, something's wrong with him Like he knows I'll come through and help him And like I know some, some relationships end because the other partner doesn't want to put in the same effort as the other one So I feel like with me and him, we, well, I, me and him, we both bring the same effort into the relationship so um i want to cry and i know i'm gonna cry like on the day of everything going on like especially whenever you come down and i see you for the first time it's gonna i try not to be emotional and you, you know i try not to be emotional but you know i am Adrian, you're very, 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 very annoying, but I'm excited to start our life together, um, grow up more and more together financially and spiritually. Um, I'm excited to have kids. Mom and dad, I didn't say that. I'm just excited to be together for forever. You the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby